Well, we're approaching the second anniversary of COVID here in Michigan. And the fourth wave driven by Omicron is beginning to wane. That's clearly good news. The seven day average case rate sits at more than 13,000 cases. And yes, that's a lot, but it's down from more than 20,000 a day earlier in January. So with that in mind, is it time to start treating COVID like the flu, like some countries in Europe? Local health experts say no, it's not the time yet, but it could be soon. Like much of Southeast Michigan, Macomb County is seeing a decline in COVID cases and a falling positivity rate. Great to see since we are so, so high and, and transmission is, is still high, uh, but we definitely are, are trending in the right direction. That's Andrew Cox, Macomb County's health officer. He attributes the drop in cases to vaccinations and Omicron running its course, leaving fewer people to infect. Despite that, he says it's not time to treat Omicron like the flu because hospitalizations are still a problem. We still have a high number of people that are hospitalized in the hospitals and we're not quite there yet. Omicron is going to come down rapidly. The way it went up, it's going to come down. Dr. Tina Chopra agrees. COVID will shift to being an endemic like the flu. But she says for now, COVID's community transmission and societal burden are too high. We are at 30 percent at this point. If we come to 5%, we can live with the virus. The numbers that will not overwhelm the healthcare system. So what will it look like when we reach the point of treating COVID like the flu? Well, there'll still be outbreaks that require public health efforts to control. Like in December, when the CDC sent a team to Ann Arbor to investigate a flu outbreak at the University of Michigan, or Michigan's 2019 measles outbreak centered in Oakland County. Exactly, that will look like that. We will have to intervene through public health, through infection control measures. Vaccination efforts, uh, you know, masking, uh, social distancing, those types of measures that have been successful. Stepping in to work with facilities, schools, and communities where hotspots develop, it will require constant surveillance. But before we get there, we have another major push ahead. Will we be able to reach uh, endemicity before we vaccinate younger children? I think, uh, I think the answer to that is no. Dr. Chopra says we do need to vaccinate our youngest children and get boosters to Americans of all ages. She also says we need to support global vaccination efforts. We've seen how variants develop overseas and then come to the U.S. When we can finally reach the point where we can begin treating COVID like the flu, we need to limit the virus's ability to mutate if we want to keep it that way.